Tonight, a News Channel 3 Taking Action Investigation Special. Now, it started with a simple email from a viewer, a young military man who said he was scammed by Virginia Employment Services, a company that promises jobs but demands hundreds of dollars in finder's fees and some say never delivers on its promises. Now, when we launched our investigation, we had no idea how much we would find and how many of you would be affected. Can you tell me what camera, type please. of service you actually provide? I need you to turn off the camera and step out of the office. Please. Will you talk to me outside of the office? No, sir. Why would a Hampton Roads company refuse to tell News Channel 3 cameras what it actually does? We'll be back. The answer to that question is a sad and sordid tale that has taken precious money from people who need it most. People like Matt Hetrick. Here's one for customer service reps. Like so many of us these days, he needs a full-time job. And you can't feed a family on two, three days a week. I'm married, I have a wife who's pregnant. So when he saw these ads offering customer service or warehouse jobs. I'm thinking that I'm going to go to Norfolk and do up with this appointment and get a job. But when he walked through the doors of the official sounding Virginia Employment Services, it wasn't an interview, but rather a sales pitch. They said that it was an employment agency that required membership is what it boils down to. $365 with the promise that they would get him a job. Matt was desperate. He forked over the money. So what did he get? Links to a maze of websites that ask for more money and don't offer jobs. What's worse, they are links he could have found for free at home. To still pay, make people pay for a service that they can do themselves and call yourself a reputable company. It just baffles my mind how they could sleep at night. I was desperately in need of a job. Robin Headley says she fell for the same trick in the same office six months ago. At that time, the business called itself Virginia Personnel. <laughs> Out hundreds of precious dollars, Robin decided to fight back. So we filed a lawsuit against Virginia Personnel. But the CEO, Carla O'Leary, didn't show up for court. And the next day, she dissolved the company, changed the name, and kept the business going. I really felt like they're a complete scam, and they were evading all prosecution. That's so. apparently the O'Leary's M.O. News Channel 3's investigation uncovered the shady trail. Before they were Virginia Employment Services, even before they were Virginia personnel, they called themselves New Beginnings. And before that, Jobs Plus. That's four names, all the same business, racking up dozens of complaints and investigations from the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Affairs, the Norfolk Commonwealth Attorney's Office, and the State Attorney General. But to this point, no criminal prosecution. They are really preying on that desperation, and that's why people go in there. We went there, cameras rolling, to get answers. We speak to Carla O'Leary, please. And with music blaring on the speakers, the receptionist giggled over our questions, laughing all the way down the hallway. Her boss didn't find us as funny. Can I speak to Carla O'Leary, please? No, sir. I'm sorry. No one works here by that name. This is Virginia Employment and Services, is that correct? The office. Can you tell me what camera, type please. of service you actually provide? I need you to turn off the camera and step out of the office. Please. Will you talk to me outside of the office? No, sir. No one in the office would say what they do or who they work for. Even the directory on the wall outside only lists the suite number, not the name of the business. Do you actually get people jobs, ma'am? I need you to turn off the camera and step out of the office. You're not going to answer any of my questions? No, sir. Our cameras didn't shake the VES workers, but were enough to scare Daniel Forehead out of the lobby. I was interested in a job with these guys. Daniel is also out of work and was about to pay the fee. You know, you guys came in at the right time because I'm not trying to go through anything that I don't need to go through. So. Think we maybe saved you some money? I think so. I think so. But we were too okay. late for Matt, who says Virginia Employment okay. Services withdrew more money from his credit card without his permission. And, uh, and the payments are non-refundable. He's embarrassed, but determined to keep others from making his mistake. It's really low, lower than a parasite, to feed off of someone else's needs and not give them anything for it. I hope that they are found out for whatever name they are operating under, and they, they don't get a chance to do this to anybody else. Yeah, Matt really started a revolution. He never got an interview through VES, but after just one night on our air, our viewers stopped in where VES failed. The good folks over at Ethan Allen saw our story and brought Matt in for a job interview. But unfortunately, there are hundreds of others just like Matt, and as you can imagine, many VES clients who say they feel they've been scammed get angry. 
Other workers in the building report regular yelling matches inside the VES office, and often those matches get violent. News Channel 3 decided to look into the police activity at VES over the years and found that this woman, Crystal Harrison, the VES office manager that I confronted in the video a little while ago, has been arrested at least five times for assault in the office. Now, police reports claim that she attacked people with scissors, shoes, and staplers. We called her on the phone and asked her about the pattern of violence. We've been able to determine that you have been arrested six different times for assault and battery. Okay, first off, my personal business has nothing to do with it. But I'm letting you know right now, do not call me, do not call this office back, or come back to this office. And I hope you have a blessed day, sir. Well, Harrison was never convicted in any of those alleged assaults, but what that does show clearly is that VES is a business that constantly drives people to violent confrontation, and it has an office manager who has no interest in turning the other cheek. Well, a former employee at Virginia Employment Services calls it a scam and comes clean to News Channel 3. Coming up, she shares how it worked and why her guilty conscience forced her to quit. It turned out that it wasn't just former clients fed up with the deceptive practices at Virginia Employment Services. A former employee of VES saw our story and came forward to blow the whistle. As our Taking Action investigation continues, this young woman was afraid to show her face, but was not afraid to reveal the details of the con. It was nothing but a scam. This woman, we'll call her Pam, recognized her former office right away on News Channel 3. For a good while, she took calls at Virginia Employment Services, and as she was trained, promised to get people jobs. It's in our script to say it. We glamorized it for her. It made them seem like it was a great job. She and her coworkers would say what they had to to get you in the door. But once inside, she says there were no jobs, only a hefty fee for service, $365, that desperate people are too often willing to pay. As far as you know, did you ever get anybody a job? Not that I know of. I, most of the people always called me complaining. People like James Jones, who saw this ad online for warehouse jobs at a company called Tri-City Distributing. Nothing about VES, no fees involved. It seems legit, but when we called... You've reached our job lab. Interested applicants, please call. It's just a hotline that takes you to another number, and you guessed it, Virginia Employment Services. Where is Tri-City? They're opening up, but they're not here yet. The ad only lists Chesapeake and a zip code, but when I tried to learn more about Tri-City... They're coming from out of town. Oh, okay. Which town? I don't know that either. Sir, we just work here. James actually went to the office for an interview, but says he smelled a scam and luckily didn't fork over any money. I don't know how they do it. How do you go home at night and... Yeah, you're getting a job, you're being paid, uh, but these people that you're taking money from that don't have the jobs, you're taking money away from them, food off their table. Uh, it's, 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 it's horrifying. Among all of those calls and all of those contracts, you can't remember one instance where you got somebody a job? No, not with us. They found one on their own. Pam told us Virginia Employment Services never delivered leads that people couldn't easily find themselves. And when clients found that out, the office often got ugly. We would have to close up the lobby if there was somebody in there yelling or screaming. We would have to close the door. We'd have to distract the people in the lobby from leaving because if they found out what was going on, they would all walk out. But even if customers cancel, their credit card numbers were still on the contract and VES employees were trained to drain the card at the first sign of trouble. I thought this was crazy. This is not what a professional job is supposed to be like. Professional? Hardly. We couldn't even get current employees to admit who they work for. This is Virginia Employment and Services, is that correct? The office Can you tell me what camera, type please. of service you actually provide? I need you to turn off the camera and step out of the office. All of the deceit and drama proved too much for Pam. She finally quit, but is afraid of what VES employees will do if she shows her face. I never would have done it if I knew what I was getting into, but I was just like everybody else walking in there and desperate. I just got to see the other side of it. They still just keep on trucking and someone needs to shut them down. Well, as you can see, going to the VES office didn't get us any answers, so we decided to visit the owners at home, James and Carla O'Leary. This is their spacious home just off of the water in Virginia Beach, complete with palm trees and a very tall concrete privacy fence. Well, despite Mr. O'Leary's truck in the circular drive, no one answered the door. 
Now we later asked their attorney to tell us if they have ever gotten anyone a job and why they have to trick people into coming into their office, but they refuse to answer. But well, tonight, how our stories are getting results, plus what you need to do to get justice for yourself and the many others who feel that they have been cheated by Virginia Employment Services. All right, so with all these taking action investigation stories, Pat, I'm sure our viewers are wondering how is VES still in business and what are authorities, are they, are they doing anything in the wake of all of our stories? Well, they are, Kurt. In fact, the Commonwealth Attorney's Office for the past three years was aware of VES but felt this was a civil matter and so nothing really was done. But after our investigation, the new Commonwealth Attorney, Gregory Underwood, has been more proactive. He has gotten the Norfolk Police Department involved. In fact, we put them in touch with our victims and the VES whistleblower and the investigation is finally moving forward. All right, so Pat, what about the state? Is there anything the Attorney General can do here? Well, they are aware of this as well. In fact, the O'Leary's, the owners of VES, opened up a similar business in Ohio, and that state's Attorney General shut them down, got the victims their money back, and in fact, kicked the O'Leary's out of the state. Our Attorney General is investigating. In fact, his Office of Consumer Affairs has been monitoring our reports and are watching tonight. But because the investigation is ongoing, they can't tell us what they plan to do or when they will take action. So what is the, the Norfolk Compass Attorney Office look, looking for specifically before they act? Well, they're in a tough position because they've got an ongoing investigation, so they really can't tell us what they're doing. But I think most people would say that after three years, it's time to do something. Mm. So that's why so many people have been emailing us, and I know what they definitely need to help. If they and the rest of the investigators continue to hear from you, in fact, if you feel that you've been victimized by v VES, first call News Channel 3, and I want to give you that number. It's 757-446-1378. But we've also made it easy for you to report your scam score story to the Norfolk Commonwealth Attorney's Office and the Department of Consumer Affairs. Just go to WTKR.com and click on the link under Scene on News Channel 3. The overwhelming response from you is how we've made a difference so far, so let's go ahead and keep it going. Now, in the meantime, News Channel 3 will continue to dig. We've already provided a wealth of evidence to investigators, and we will definitely let you know the minute that they take action for you. Pat McReynolds, News Channel 3. Thank you very much, Pat. And our next newscast, News Channel 3 this morning, beginning at 5 a.m. Live up at Radar, breaking news first at WTKR.com.